It really is a huge week on the farm this week. And welcome back to all of you. I've just arrived at the deck for what is our very first day of building together. <laughs> Old Hopalong over here has got some help from his wife today. Um, I can't because of my shoulder, um, actually more than just my shoulder because of Tamara and a whole bunch of you guys out there telling me that I should stop the work. So the shoulder is still a little bit, little bit funky, not really enjoying that at the moment, mm -mm. Um, which means Tara is here to help me today. Um, just help, just to like take over completely. Okay. Pencil gone. Push down, roll back up. Tara's just been up to get me some peas. Yeah, so who out there has ever gone to work with their wife before? So yesterday was a really difficult day for me. Or their husband. Mm. Did it end up well for you? It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Love to hear the comments <laughs> below. Maybe that wallpapering job, that painting job, you know, the one that didn't quite go in the straight lines. I broke the saw. Another highlight. Um, what other kind of jobs? Baking? Have could, you ever baked? It could all go horribly wrong. It could all go horribly wrong. But as long, darling, as long as you do exactly what you're told, we'll be just fine. And so it begins. <laughs> you got the heart that is bigger than the sun. You got the smile that is wider than the fun. Whatever you imagine will come true. Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it seems up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine So my darling, what's the plan? Well, I think the first thing we should do is finish some of these jobs that you've started and haven't finished. It begins. We've only been going for two minutes and it's already started. <laughs> start what you finished, John. That's what she's really saying, isn't she? She'll start talking about the chicken coop in yeah, a minute. I know it. Say, this is the homestead of unfinished jobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go with the box seat and we're going to finish that off, right? Yeah, look, I found a peep already. Okay. That's where that goes, right? No, I put it in the... Okay. So what are you going to do with that piece? I'm going to stick it there. Okay. All right. So the plan is, I think we we don't do what you're thinking of doing straight away. Okay. Um, the first thing I think we want to do is just finish these. Um, this is the most difficult bit, by the way. You need to do this bit first so that everything fits inside it. Okay. Look, I'll show you over here. Okay. So we've got that front bit, mm -hmm. we've got the back bit. Over here, the back bit is already in place. Okay. So we need to make the frame, if you like, of the seat before we can put the inside bit in. Okay. All right? Okay. So the first thing to do is to get the wood. So for example, we want to put that there. That might be okay to start off with, I think. Um, and then draw draw what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I think there's a pencil up there. I left it next to your drill. Great. All right, so um, first things first, I think we probably just want to draw it. And that's the pain bit. Like this. And like that. Okay, so that'll be... That line we don't cut. Mm -hmm. this, this. That line we don't. The two outside lines we cut. Okay. Um, yeah. The easiest way to cut that. So I've been using the jigsaw previously. Okay. But I think actually um, it'll be easier with the. It'll be easier with the um, circular saw. Let's just clamp it in. Okay, so we plug this in. Handy having electrics up here, isn't it? Yeah, U plugs. There we go. Sort you out. Let's do it. I don't know how to work it. 
<laughs> so, um, squeeze that. Okay. And push the button. Hi, hey, buddy. Crusoe, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, hello, my What are you up to? Yeah, oh, Daddy's working not really much because Daddy's not allowed to work, but Mommy's working really a lot. Oh. Last week, you would have seen that my cousin, Nicole, who is Crusoe's godmother, um, has flown in from South Africa. She, thankfully, is here to help us with the boys while we crack on with work because without having somebody to kind of keep the boys entertained and away from here, it's really hard to work together. I think she's probably trying to put Sawyer down for a nap, which is why we've got little Mr. Crusoe come for a visit. But it is so nice to have him here because he's such a huge part of all the builds and what we do. So um, it's weird to not have him around, but it's really hard to do stuff when they're both here and we're here. Really hard. I mean, impossible. So very grateful for the help. We've coined her, belovedly, our not nanny. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Because she's not our nanny. Yeah, thankfully. Loves our boys as much as we do and here to help us, which I don't know what we'd do without you, Tinks. Let me take Crusoe away. Crusoe. Oh wow, okay, you're leaving me. As you were doing it, just to let you know, you were up like this and at an angle. What you want to do is try and make sure it's flat. So as you're pushing it along, it's, it's cutting flat, okay. right? Shall we? We've got that like that. So now we've got this in place, roughly. Crusoe, can you leave it there for me, please, buddy? Thank you. Tara's just been up to get me some peas. Do you know, I started this day with quite a lot of trepidation. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but okay. just the two things I've done so far, I really enjoyed it. Is it? <laughs> I know we haven't done much. But... Chicks yeah. and power tools, guys. So it's definitely not perfect, is it? Mm -mm. Um, let's have a look. Do you want to draw, make some marks on it where it needs to be changed slightly? I think it needs to come in here. Take that off. Okay, as well. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. What do you, what's the easiest tool for that? Jigsaw. You think jigsaw again? Okay, clamp it and let's do it. How's it now? Yeah, it's much better, isn't it? Well, it's better. All right. Here's what I reckon. Still need to do this bit, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And just clean up that corner. I think it, yeah, I think we need to go like that, don't we? Mm -hmm. A little bit more off of that. A little bit Hang more on. of that. Is just... it in the right place? So, so hmm. it's gone a bit funky. All right. Um, 
let's get some let's get another piece of wood and get the wood ready for this bit here as well for the for the seat bits okay um shouldn't take too long and we're, maybe we just have another go at that we've got a really good template there now sometimes it takes two or three goes to get it right yeah let's do that and we can also think about putting the get, cutting these big pieces of wood okay. to shape as well okay. you could probably cut those big pieces of wood to shape straight away okay. you know and then it starts to feel a little bit more like we're getting something done yeah, yeah that, that's you know? it doesn't it i want i really want i don't want this to take like a billion times longer because no. that's me which is going to but like and i'm thinking about this roof today as well we can get something really get something quite quickly moving on that okay Darling, that's a nice job. that like that all right i think that's going to be just fine uh, we can tidy that up a little bit later but we got the when we when we put the pieces of wood together we can sort of make that look nice okay and then always when you're cutting pencil gone pencil's gone <laughs> sorry <laughs> Okay, did you manage to make the drawer first? Good. Yeah. Okay, Crusoe, no doubt, we'll find that. <laughs> okay. Um, I would always cut the smallest piece off first okay. here and then go for the big piece. Okey doke. Great. Okay, let's pop that into place. Both of them now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Here's the other one. What's that, buddy? Okay, come in. Yeah. Okay. How's that? Not good. I got the edge wrong. No, sorry. I cut that too short, didn't I? Who are you, my lovey? I'm a mummy, daddy, and Sylvia. Is it? Yeah, lots of flies. Lots of flies, hey? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Sorry. That's frustrating. That was meant to be the end to go to lunch. Yeah. It's nice, there's nice. It's nice. There's nice. Yeah, that's great, isn't it, Chris? Look at that. Are you bouncing on it? How does that feel? Yeah. Yeah, nice and strong, hey? Yeah. Well okay, done, Mum. I've about this. I am top. Huh? What's happening there? Mommy made a wrong cut. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I, th I think um, it was me who said that. Mommy. I think that's done, love. Yeah, I think I tell you what, I'm going to put my feet up. What a day. Mama. Yes, darling. I'm trying to change that. Okay, you fix it, sweetie. Every time I sit down here, I think, oh, what a lovely space. I think it'll be a lovely, lovely space when it's finished. It's going to be mega, yeah. End place. Cool. All right. Hey, Chris, is lunch ready? Yesterday was a really difficult day for me. Um, not because I'm working with Tara. I love working with Tara. It's really great fun and it's magical to be able to spend time together. What was really hard was knowing what needs to be done um, and really not being able to do it. We're going to do it again today. Um, and I hope, I really hope that we can get more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of wood fitted in what was probably about five hours worth of work yesterday. Um, the end result was Tara, of course, learning a whole bunch of new stuff, but we broke a saw um, and we, everything was so slow. It's to be expected. Um, it's so frustrating. I really just want to get on and do stuff. A new day. Yesterday was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, in my head this was going to be super fun and it was just going to be like, well we'll just come down and I'll do it and it'll just be done and then we'll have our deck finished and it'll just be like when John's doing it and we'll get loads of content so that the YouTube channel will carry on without any stress and we'll have a lot of fun doing it together. We did have a lot of fun doing it together and I personally really enjoyed learning how to use the new tools and I felt like I accomplished something yesterday because they're new skills for me but I could really sense John's frustration I could really see how kind of fed up he is with not being able to work himself and also kind of having to watch how slow things are going so by the afternoon the mood had kind of I don't know it was a bit low um it's tough I don't know what the way forward is 
we're going to crack on like we are and I'm sure we'll get there but I think it would be remiss for us not to share that this is really stressful um, and a lot of stuff really hangs in the balance we're just going to have to keep trying anyway John's on his way back so let's crack on sort of a gloomy day today it's really cloudy it's actually quite cold it's about 13 degrees which is really weird but it is perfect for working we've left Nicole with the boys kind of playing they've got play-doh out they've got paints they're having breakfast they're super happy so hopefully we're going to get a good couple of hours in of solid work because it's the kind of stopping and starting for the boys that also you're not used to are you darling what's that having to stop and start when I was having to rush off yesterday with the kids to put them to bed to wake them up to give them yeah. whatever. So yeah. let's try and get a good couple of hours in before nap time start and all the rest of it. Mm, breaks the rhythm a little bit. Okay, so I've got a plan today. I think what would be really cool is that we do something that is visually rewarding okay. and fairly easy to put together. Cool. I say fairly easy. <clears throat> so far, it's my third go. Yeah. Um, but I think I got a better plan for the roof. Oh, cool. Okay. And I think if we we can start looking at putting a structure up for that roof, it'll be hopefully quite rewarding to think that we've managed to achieve something by the end of today that's taken me a lot of thinking about. Okay. We're going to start off over in this corner here, where. I cut a piece of wood. Well, it seems too short now. But let's stop chit chatting. Let's just crack on and build something okay. and see where we are at the end of the day. Perfect. Yeah. All right. I'm up for it. Very good. Let's do it. Let's I do it. Oh, well done. I broke the saw. Another highlight. Yeah. This sure. may be what you're already thinking, but right? Yeah. If you join that one. Okay. And then you have a roof that goes up like this, has a little flat bit here, and then goes down, so it's really quite wide. If we do something like this. Okay. We head off in that direction. All right, perfect, yeah. We, so we bring that down like this, okay. and then across like this. I was thinking I could make a curtain of pine cones. Okay, at an angle. What would you prefer? That's good to know this. go on to that that piece over there. Can you so there's a beam that's coming up It's going to be a it's going to be a complex uh, a complex build, but I think um, I think we can do it, can't we? Okay. So from here, yeah. I think what we need to do is <clears throat> is this is this high enough, love? Because it's like just you come walk underneath it. It's not far above my head. I don't know. You tell me. You're the one that might hit your head. People get cross about hitting their heads. They do. Good point. We should lift it, shouldn't we? At least for there. Yeah. How are we going to do that over there? Yeah. So do we do we have this one coming off at that kind of an angle like that? Who sees it? I see it. You see it? I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay. Let's take it all down. Okay. I never see these things. You just have to trust, folks. For those of you like me who can't see it, just trust. Careful with those. It's always worked out for me just fine in the end. Okay, those folks, at the end of this episode, we're going to have a roof. Um, you have through your end.
you do them. Right out the way completely. Yeah. Deep. Deep. Try and keep them straight. Yeah, push from push from the top. I do like hand so this is a really beautiful piece of wood this one it's got some interesting scars down the side of it nice yeah we just have to decide which way round it goes now like that yeah cool or like that where you want the scars i think looking into the space though no? yeah okay like that out the same oh it is a gloomy day isn't it yeah really gloomy Okay, um, okay, I see. One, two. That's look. such a beautiful knot, man. Wow, yeah. perfect. Really beautiful. Look at those circles. Yeah. I've seen them so clearly before. Move fast, that tree. Okay. Try and go smack in the middle. That's it. And straight down and up. Up. Up here? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, now we remember which way it goes because we had that on the inside. And there we go, it fits perfectly. Hi, my boy. You're going to come and help? Cool. Just before Crusoe gets here, let's do this. Okay, ready? I was born ready, darling. You bet. Are they in the right place? Yes. Yeah. Now, if we wanted to acknowledge a mistake um, and just maybe slide something in here that's a little bit thinner, if we don't want to acknowledge the mistake, we can knock that down really far yeah. and then put a piece of wood around it Oh, like a frame to hide like the Like a frame to join. hide the gap. It'll also look lovely. Your preference? Quite like the idea of just knocking it down and, Framing and tidying it. it up. Yeah, agreed. Nice. Okay. This is exciting. Right, next job. We want to get a beam. Okay. And also, let's just pop that on top of there now. Darling, let me lift there. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, I'll put it on the other side. So that's plenty high enough there, yeah, right? That's great. That's much better. We put this just up here. Yeah. Okay, still low. So I think the next thing we need to do is build a beam that's long enough to go all the way across. And then we can screw it in from here across to there. Okay, let me come and get it. Leave the heavy lifting to you. Mm -hmm. yep. Stand there and, and have a look.
Hello, Sawyer. Hi, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. right. <laughs> Just put it over here. Uh, okay. Okay. Now do it. Bring them both here. Okay. Like this. So this end is square. Okay. This end will be the end that goes up against that, okay? Up against what we've just put in? Yeah. Okay. Let me just take a, an edge off of that. Okay, it's really annoying when you get a piece of wood from the shop to think that the sawmill didn't cut it square. Um, but I think it's quite common. Most pieces of wood are like that. If we try to butt this this end of the wood up against that, this one. there'd be there'd be like a big gap yeah. between. So what we want to do, we've done it on that one. We just want to take, in this instance, I'm going to take a whole bunch off because there's a crack at the end. Yeah. Okay, now just, just let the saw do the work and then, then you'll be fine. Where's your finger? I don't like this. This finger? Yeah. Put it there okay. and then it'll be really easy to control the saw. So Tara's a rower or was a rower when she was at school. And what, she, what you're doing there is you're rowing. You want to be cutting. So I would come, I would have the angle of my saw like that I use my index finger on these because the index finger will help you control it. Right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, let me show you. So you're doing really well. So here's the reason why it would be important like that. Your index finger there will help keep this where it needs to be, right? Mm -hmm. So if you cut like this, your blade, every time you pull back, has the opportunity to do this. If you cut down, it's a lot easier. And also, as you're cutting, you, you push on the down and, and just roll back up on the up. So it's a push down and roll back up, push down, roll back up, like that. Gently now, come to the end. Was it easier on those last few strokes? Was it? Yeah, much. Thanks, love. That's good. That's it. Perfect. That could be. Okay. Let's move these pieces of wood now. And make sure these are straight. Great, great. Well done. Yep. This angle, all right? For yeah, the camera. it's good. Keep going. <laughs> Got a hole in your pants. Lucky then. <laughs> Tidy it up and make it um, stronger, but that's easy to do. It's a nice height, I think. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, that's really important, isn't it? That's always been important. You might not see as much of the baseboard of the shingles, though, you were hoping. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's very true, but I think it'll be just fine. Okay. Repetitive applications, as you're doing, if you're getting four right packs in a day, great. You know, keep it up, John. Yeah. Um, I know it's boring, but if you're finding a bit of relief, it's your body saying yes, please. Yeah, no, quite right. And those ice packs um, tomorrow are really, they are really helping. Um, we don't, we haven't, we, we haven't, we haven't written bump bag on our peas, but um, <laughs> we, we definitely separated them out so we know which bag it is. <laughs> now, it's been great for you. I haven't followed my instructions. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. That was good, wasn't it? Yeah, so we just got off the phone to Tamara um, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, you, you guys heard um, she was giving us some back advice and neck advice. Yeah. Um, she's really helping. She's really, really helping. It's amazing to, I don't know, I, it's not my, I'm not in your body, but to feel equipped with the knowledge of what's going on with your neck and your vertebra and why that's causing you some needles and what you need to do to look after it. And to have just a few tools to be able to feel like we're moving towards a position of healing is, a, mm. is important, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. So... Um, Tamara said that Tara's got to massage me daily for half an hour to 45 minutes. She did not. <laughs> <laughs> she did not. So we're mm. relieved about that. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> yeah. Very grateful. All right. Right. Let's get let's on get with this. Roof up, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> we were to build it like that I think it'd look quite fun on the inside isn't it yeah 
I'm going to want to do something, I think, with the end bit. And definitely I'm going to want to do something with that part there. So these will overlap and be cut shorter, won't they? They're not going to be like long panels like that, or could we do them long panels we like that? We could do them long panels, or we can do them with shingle tiles. Um, I, I guess the area is so small it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's cool. The height is really nice because you can Isn't it? like there's no hindrance on your view. Right. Okay, so I like that. I don't like that bit yet. We've got to work on that. There's something just not quite right about it. Um, let's go get something to eat and drink ice. water. Ice. Huh? And some ice. Yeah. Good. good. Are you happy? Yeah. That's a good morning's work. Well, uh, it starts to feel like it it's got some idea of how it's going to look, right? 